Five, 10 year old Caden Culp still recovering from severe burns he sustained Sunday afternoon when he and three others were playing in a shed in Kerrville. Meanwhile, both Kerrville police and fire continue investigating what happened. Pilar Arias gives us the latest details from today's press conference. She was also there when people who identified themselves as family of the only boy arrested in this case defended him outside City Hall. People who say they're family members of a boy charged with first degree arson say boys will be boys. My son's not a blame at all. Pardon? My son is not. Okay. I mean, if one's gonna get blamed, we all need to be blamed because y'all all went over there with the tensions of trying to start a fire. Standing together during a press conference, uh, yes. Kerrville's fire chief, fire marshal, and chief of police said four neighborhood kids were playing together Sunday when they somehow started a fire in this Kerrville shed. Gasoline was then added to the flames, and that's how we're told 10-year-old Caden Culp was critically injured. While Caden recovers, one of the boys involved sits in the Kerr County Juvenile Facility. He's grieving, and he cries, and he talks about it, and he knows he he's, did not he's just very do that. Uh, he has been appointed uh, counsel at this time, and we're going to move forward with the juvenile process. Caden suffered second and third degree burns to 20% of his body. His mother said she heard her son was intentionally set on fire, but Kerrville police and fire investigators say otherwise. We have no indication that there was any premeditation involved uh, to injure this child. The relatives say they agree. I this is all an accident. It's just an accident. We know that these kids, like I said before, they're all friends. He didn't deliberately do this and go over there and throw this gasoline on top of him. You guys heard what they said in there. They were messing with it. Somebody went this away and it splashed everywhere. All four boys were unsupervised at the time of this incident. I did ask if any of their parents or other children involved could face charges and was told this is an ongoing investigation. Reporting in Kerrville, Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News. Since this case is still under investigation, anyone with information is being asked to call the Kerrville Fire Marshal's office, the phone number 830-257-8449.